Hello, for this video, uh, we've got two equally sized barrels, so barrel A and barrel B, uh, and these barrels are being transported on a hand truck. Uh, so this is just a little cart. Uh, it's tilted back at a 30 degree angle. We're assuming this is a 90 degree angle right here. Uh, and so we want to draw a free body diagram of each of the two barrels. Uh, and so we're going to have barrel A, and we're going to have barrel B. A, this one is B, those should be the same size, um, and <clears throat> we're going to need to start drawing in the forces. All right, so each one of them has a weight force, so we're going to have F, G, and the top one is 150 pounds, and barrel B, F, G equals 200 pounds. All right, and then we need to start thinking about the other forces that are acting on these barrels. Um, so each of the barrels is in contact with multiple surfaces. Um, so over here, barrel A has a contact point between the, hand, the back of the hand truck and its side, and between the base of A and the top of B over here. And so these are going to be perpendicular to those surfaces in contact. All right, so first the side of the barrel, it's going to be kind of acting like this, um, and I'm going to call that one FR1, uh, and on the base, I'm going to have FR2. And so if this is a 30 degree angle here, we're assuming this is a kind of 30 degree angle over here, um, so this is going to be um, kind of 30 degrees from vertical right here. Uh, and this one would be 30 degrees down from horizontal over there. Um, but what I'm going to do actually is one of the things we can do when we're defining these free body diagrams is we don't have to use the standard X is horizontal and Y is vertical. Uh, with this, since most of these forces are going to be kind of at this 30 degree angle, I'm going to say this is my X axis, and this right here is my Y axis, and that way the only thing that's not um, in the x or y direction is going to be my gravity force. And so this is my x direction. This is my y direction. All right, we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to kind of rotate the axis a little bit. Do x and y. All right, so now on barrel B, I've got actually three points of contact. I've got the top, I've got this back, and I've got the bottom of the barrel. All right, so on the top, it's a force kind of going down in the Y direction. Um, and it's actually the uh, Newton's third law pair, so FR2 is the contact force. So this one is also going to be FR2. Uh, it's equal and opposite to the uh, force I have over here. So whenever I have a contact point and two bodies in contact, I'm going to have this kind of Newton's third law pair there. All right, so <clears throat> I'm also going to have at the base a force and over here on the side a force. And both of these are perpendicular uh, to those surfaces in contact. All right, so I'm going to call this one FR3. I'm going to call this one down here FR4. All right, so I've got four different reaction forces. Um, and now I've got everything in the x and y direction except the gravity force. And again, this is going to be a 30 degree angle. Um, and so this is vertical. Um, this is kind of 30 degrees from vertical um, right there. So I've got a 30 degree angle for my gravity force and everything else x and y direction. So with that, I've got my two free body diagrams, barrel A, barrel B. I've got all the forces. Uh, on my free body diagram, uh, so I'm finished with those free body diagrams. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.